Welcome back to the Sportsmax Zone and we turn our attention to a story that broke earlier today regarding the national 200 meters champion in Jamaica, Andrew Hudson. Hudson took to social media this morning to voice his frustration at the refusal of the Jamaica Olympic Association to take him to the upcoming Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England. In a tweet posted by Hudson today, he stated, Literally nothing is going right. So frustrated. Now, Jamaican Olympic Association doesn't want to put me on the roster to compete at Commonwealth Games, and I'm the Jamaican champion. Despite his success in the national trials in June, Hudson, who was born in the USA, was told that he was ineligible to wear the black, green, and gold at the World Championships in Eugene, Oregon. That period of ineligibility would end on July 28, clearing him to compete at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. Andrew Hansen joins us to talk about his troubles. Good afternoon, Andrew. Good afternoon. How are you doing? We're doing okay on this end. Um, maybe you can start our interview by just explaining to us, you know, giving our viewers a bit of a clarification as to what's really happening. Yeah, so... Earlier today, while definitely while training um, in preparation for Commonwealth Games, I was told that um, they were unwilling to put me on the Commonwealth roster. Um, it definitely took me and, my, uh, me and my team and coaches by surprise that I wasn't going to be on the roster. Um, we knew that where athletics was going to be close and it was a where athletic decision, but we were definitely surprised by, by this news this morning. All right, so you got the news. Any reason as to why you would not be able to go? Because, of course, they can't. I would hope that they would give you a reason. Uh, no reason just yet. Um, as everybody knows, I'm eligible to compete for Jamaica internationally and wear the colors on the 28th, which is after the Worlds and right before Commonwealth. So there was no reason as of yet. Um, maybe we'll get some clarity later on throughout the week, but as of right now, we don't know. So after that, what happened? Did you contact authorities? Did you speak to anyone? Where are we at right now? And, and how long do you have to wait till you get some sort of clarification as to what will happen to you career-wise? Um, as of right now, no, we don't have any, I haven't had any contact with the JOA. I'm a little bit with JTRAE, um, just giving us the news that, you know, it's a strong possibility I won't be on the Commonwealth. Um, as far as my, my career, um, being in Jamaica, I plan to do the same thing I did this year, come um, compete at Jamaican trials and make the world team, the Olympic team, and, you know, give them my best. Andrew, before you came to the trials, what was your understanding of the processes that would govern your eligibility for either the World Championships or the Commonwealth Games? Um... My understanding was it was a world athletic decision. We knew it was going to be close based off my last appearance in 2019 um, Pan American Games. So we knew it was going to be close. We didn't know it was going to be four days close that, you know, that's the answer they gave me. Um, they held me off world, athletic, world athletics until four days after world championships. So it was a little close. It was a little disheartening, but, you know, we respect the decision. Um, from my understanding, Commonwealth and NACAC championships, I was definitely supposed to be able to compete at, um, given that I got top three at Jamaican trials and ran the standard, of course, like I did. Um, that was my understanding. That was everybody's understanding. So, you know, we're a little in a loop right now on what's going on, but nonetheless, we're staying positive. All right. So just to clarify, when you went into the national championships, you went in, you and your team, knowing that you maybe would miss the world championships, but you would be fine for the Commonwealth Games. That's what you knew before you ran your first race at the trials. Exactly. We knew um, we knew I held a Jamaican passport. We knew I was a rated Jamaican citizenship, so I couldn't be denied running at the Jamaican trials. We knew we knew that. I know that there has been some exchange of correspondence between the JOA, the Olympic Association, and the J3As about athletes and the size of the squad to the, 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 the respective championships, world championships, Olymp and the mm -hmm. Commonwealth Games, beg your pardon. So mm -hmm. by what process, have, what process have they used that has caused you, the 200 meters champion, to not have a place on the plane 
for the Commonwealth Games. I'm trying to understand that. Um, I mean, I, I think we're all trying to understand, especially me just getting the news this morning. Um, being a Jamaican national champ, I definitely expected to be able to go to Commonwealth Games. I, I didn't understand the reason why I wouldn't be on the on the plane to um, the Commonwealth Games. Like I said, I don't have much of a reason. Um, I went to the Jamaican trials with the with the goal to win, and that's what I did. Um, so I expected for at least Commonwealth and NACAC championships, I was going to be able to compete. So, no, this is a little disgruntling news, but news nonetheless. But, but so, so, Andrew, I, I'm trying to, 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 to nail this point down now. The J3s... They were. They also were in contact with you, letting to to let you know what the process would be. Correct. Um, what the process would be? Yes. No, they were. They were in contact with me to let me know the information that I probably am not going to be selected for the Commonwealth Games. But hold I don't on. know the process or how they go about choosing. Yeah. The roster and why I was left on it. I'm not sure of that. So hold on, but, but somebody would say, well, here we have a national champion winning his place on the team fair and square. Isn't mm -hmm. it to be expected then that the J3s would automatically submit your name as the competitor, one of the competitors in the 200 for the Commonwealth Games? Is it then that the JOA or World Athletics drew a line through your name and struck you out? Is that what happened? Um, I think that's what it is. I think j A was um, petitioning for me to be on the team. Um, after the Commonwealth list came out, I think they were in my favor to be on the team. I think it got crossed out at the Jamaican Olympic Association that there was something that I wasn't, they weren't willing to put me on the team. So, so all right. I don't know what that could be. So here we are. So there's where we have it now. So you're saying that you, based on what you know, it is mm -hmm. that the J3s may have put you on the list and the JOA mm -hmm. crossed you off the list. That's what your understanding is. That's what, that's what my understanding is as of now, yes. And, but, but you don't know why? Oh, no, no, no clue at all why. Um, I thought I went and ran and earned my spot as everybody does. Um, you know, I did it correctly. I did it fairly. Um, I did it with the standard. You know, I, I did everything I was supposed to you, do. You did all you, you, did, you, did all, you did your job. You did your job. Oh, just one last one. <laughs> I did. I did but just job. one last one. Could it be that the JOA didn't get notification that your eligibility would have been, mm -hmm. well, that you would have been eligible for the Commonwealth Games? And so seeing your name and having prior information about doubts about your eligibility, they just automatically drew a line through your name because they did not know that, all right, this man is now clear to compete for Jamaica. And given that the J3 has submitted his name to us, he is fine. Could that have been a part of what has caused you to be in this uh, position? It definitely, it, yeah, it, it definitely could have been. Maybe, um, maybe they weren't notified of my, my presence here in Jamaica. Maybe they weren't notified that I was eligible to compete. Um, Commonwealth Games isn't for another two weeks. I wouldn't understand why I couldn't be added to the list, but they're saying I can't. Maybe it's a numbers thing. Maybe it's the, the roster. But that definitely could be a reason. And nonetheless, um, you know, I wish everybody good luck at a Commonwealth Games if I'm not um, on the plane. But, you know, it's something. It's something. Last one, Andrew. Are you, is, is your team making representation for you? Have you reached out to the J3s and the JOA to see if you can clarify this thing, work it out? Or are, are you just accepting yes. the decision? What, what's the status? Yeah. yeah, we're definitely getting clarification right now. Um, my agent, Safety Clark, is, is on it. Um, he brought the news to me this morning. And, of course, with my frustration in um, you know, not being able to represent Jamaica and put on the colors yet, on the world stage, it is definitely frustrating, and I'm definitely eager to represent Jamaica and to put on the colors and compete. So, you know, frustration is definitely a part of this process. Um, it's a process, nonetheless. It's pros and cons to everything. So, you know, I'm, I'm taking it with a positive and optimistic um, outlook. Andrew, well, we wish you all the best. I hope that you get some sort mm -hmm. of resolution very soon because it wouldn't be a good way to start when you <laughs> begin to represent Jamaica. So we'll keep in right. touch. Thank you very much. Of course, Andrew Hudson there, the national 200 meters champion for Jamaica. So George and Lance, of course, one, you brought a point up. And if that is the case where the JOA didn't really know what was going on and wasn't sure that he was eligible to compete 
that's very poor on their path because of course you would want your best athletes to take part and you would find out just ask a question yeah yeah um lance if, if you may I, I want some time to find a letter that the GO is sent mm. to the J3 yeah, well, while, while you do that, yeah. just to emphasize the magnitude of this story as we await confirmation from the JOA and J3s as to exactly what the reasons were for his omission from the team, he not only qualified as the national champion, having won the 200 at uh, the national championship, but, but beyond that, he's also the fastest Jamaican over the distance so far this year. There's no one as fast as him so far this year. So on current ability, he has earned his place yeah. and he's unmistakably a, a, a perfect choice to go to run the 200 meters. Only one Caribbean runner, English speaking Caribbean runner, has been faster than he has over 200 meters so far this year. That's Jareem Richards from TNT, who has a 1983 knocking. And um, Andrew went 20.10 in the nationals. Mm -hmm. And as I said, no Jamaican has gone even close to that so far this year. So, on that count, plus the fact that he is a national champion, no reason from where we sit uh, for him not to be included in the Commonwealth Games team. This has given me mixed, mixed information vibes, like, you know, just lack of information, lack of communication. You found it? Yeah, um, and, and, and I, hmm, I don't know if this has anything to do with it. What this letter that I'm going to read now, just a part of, yeah. what it confirms is that there is an issue between the JOA, the Olympic Association, and the J3As, that's the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, concerning the quota. Yeah, and I don't know if Andrew's a victim of it, which would be Yeah, but would he be would be number one pick, though. And, and that's, Even and that's if the thing. it's like three of us. And, and that's the thing. And that's the thing. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's a, so the letter is dated July 8th. Garth Gale, president, he is the man written to by the, pres by the JOA boss. That's the president, Christopher Samuda. It says, I acknowledge receipt of your letter of the 7th received and the time is there. I read that there appears to be an indifference to the policy and regulations of the Commonwealth Games Federation respecting the quota system, particularly that which governs the naming of athletes in a relay pool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he goes on to list three conditions here. And effectively what this letter is saying is that the J3As has ignored the guidelines of the Commonwealth Games Federation and the entreaties of the Jamaica Olympic Association to have them abide by those regulations in naming a pool of athletes that the Commonwealth Games Federation will find favor with. In other words, what can be interpreted from this letter is that the J3As sent too many names that the Commonwealth Games will approve. Yes. But even so, and again, I'm not saying that this is related to the instant yeah. case yeah. Of, 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 of poor Andrew, but I'm yes. just saying that this... So this clarifies and yeah. confirms that there is an, an issue, issue about yeah. quota and the number of yeah. athletes yeah. named right. for the Commonwealth Games. Yeah. Well, as, actually, we are very anxious to hear from J3A and JOA, which is obviously going to be our next stop because they need to explain to us the reason for this. Because even if you have a quota issue, um, you would think that, let's say, you don't want to send three athletes for the 200 and you only want to send one. I can't see why they would send anyone else. Yeah, and I mean, but, if three of us yeah. can see that. But, and but Andrew Hunts, Andrew Hunts, yeah. Well, well, cricket will take the spotlight for the next half an hour, uh, starting next with the West Indies captain Nicholas Puran calling for better cricket wickets after the West Indies lost 3-0 to Bangladesh in their three-match one-day international series that was played in Guyana.